This one, another uh, perfume called Eau de Magnolia. It's masculine, fresh floral fragrance. But we just tried Fred Frederick Marl. I smelled most of them before, but the new one is music for a while. There's loads of lavender in the top, but there's a slight, very subtle caramel note. He said there's pineapple in there as well, but I don't get too much of that. But I do get a hint of the caramelly kind of vibe with a lot of lavender. It's okay, but it's not something that I would I would purchase personally. You'd, you'd definitely have to enjoy lavender. I've just spied Amouage Boutique, so I guess we could try the Beach Hut Man. Cool. Thank you very much. So just tried the new Beach Hut Man, it's a little bit unremarkable, um, I've got to be honest, <laughs> the staff at the Amouage Boutique there don't have a clue about the fragrances, like I asked what was in it and the woman there didn't have an absolute Ill, any idea of any notes at all, so she called uh, someone else over and all he could say was it had it was cashmere, uh, that was it. <laughs> But it's kind of fresh and kind of musky and woody. Uh, I'm not sure it evokes the smell of like a beach or a holiday or really it's, it's quite soft and a bit. It's not an exciting release by Amage, um, but we'll, we'll carry on and we'll find Serge off. Some of these sales assistants here are really knowledgeable, like um, the guy from Frederick Marl knew all the notes, like just from his memory. Uh, but Amorish Betty, they didn't have a clue, so hit and miss for the safest people. Finally found the Zerjoff Boti. It's really, like, not easy to find. It's not, you kind of have to go off a little bit. It's kind of hidden in a back corner and it's really not obvious at all. It does not stand out. You can't see the sign unless you're quite close. I was just at the Amouage Boutique there and I didn't notice the Zerjaf, which is just here. It's really badly placed. And last time I was here, there was nobody in the store, which just goes to show that no one really walks past this bit. So it's not ideally located in this mall, but it's so big, this place, it's huge. It's amazing they managed to make any money, these fragrance boutiques here. There's a, there's a Rosia one as well somewhere. I think that's on another, another a different level. Level can't speak. Here we go. Look. They've gone to the Udatars. I've never smelled those before. Hi. Beautiful bottles, the little ones. Nice. 
الصادق عادي اه صعب ريل يوتيوب شو بدك؟ بدك تزعل اها Okay. Yes, because this oil is yeah. concentrated. What's what's in this one? What's this one called? Black this name? Black sukkar. Black sukkar. Yes. Sweet. Yes, it's sweet. Sukkar, you know what is sukkar? Sugar. Okay. Black sugar. sugar. Black sugar. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> this in Arabic sukkar. Hmm. It's better the food. Yes. Oh, sweet food. Yes, yeah, sweet food. Which one is this one? This cake masala oh, maybe. Yeah. This one's nice. It's more pure food. Yes, just pure food. King King masala. Masala. It's very cool. It's a light colour. The juice. It's light. This has rose in? This rose. Rose, yes. yeah, I can smell it. It's nice. This rose with oud. Warda al oud. Warda al oud. This is very cool. Warda al oud. Hmm? This is our cool video. I have a YouTube channel, ah, so but I talk about fragrances on YouTube. Ah, so YouTube. Yeah. which your you have channel or what? yeah yeah which fragrance view? What's the name of the channel? Fragrance fragrance view like view? like how you see fragrance view. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Wada al oud. This one's quite nice. You get a lot of the rose. And a very smooth oud. It's not dirty, it's very very smooth and the rose is lovely actually. This one's called Zafar. They have notes on the back which is, is quite, quite nice. Head of rose, black pepper, heart of neroli from Morocco, oud from Laos, white flowers, base of cedar, incense, Haitian vetiver, musk and oud burma. Straight away I can smell cashmerin, so part of the Musk Accord is definitely cashmere. In fact, I get a, a lot of cashmere. In. If you don't like cashmere, in, that, that will put you off. It's quite an obvious note. But that will build up the Musk Accord in the base. I think you need to let that one dry down to get more of the oud. Do you have one of these that are more popular that people like the, the most from uh, this line? This uh, all people in the Gulf, they like this. Is there one it's in like particular that sells more? Yeah. All of them? Yes. All of them are popular. It's old stars. See, so this one's Fars. It has bergamot, French lavender, cage, geranium, jasmine, cedar, amber, sandalwood, Haitian vetiver, Indian nagamotha, which I've never. S s I'm presuming it's a floor, but I don't know that one. And Buea from Lao. Uh, not my taste, it probably comes <coughs> better on skin. Okay, we'll try the same one. I much prefer the older bottles. The new ones, uh, I like the colour, but the, the shape is, I prefer the old shape. So this one's called Ceylon. You do get the oud. There's a, a sweetness here, let me read the... Okay, so it's honey. Honey oil CO2 extract with bergamot, jasmine, sandback, black tea, uh, and a blend of ouds from Malaysia and Indian sandalwood with vanilla, Madagascar, amber, and deer musk infusion. Deer musk infusion? I wonder if it real, uses real deer musk. You definitely get the, the honey and the oud. And a little bit of indolic jasmine. This is a complicated one. That's interesting. Um, hmm. You'd have to wear these on skin. I'm more impressed with the Atars at the moment. So we'll go with Malicia, which has notes of Muguay, Gershom Balsam, Amaris Amber, Oud, Vanilla, Tonka, Tolu, Labdomen, and Musk. This one from the top comes more across like an ambery fragrance. It's more amber dominant. The, the oud doesn't shout through from the opening, it doesn't punch you in the face of oud. It's more ambery. 
I think testing fragrances like this from a paper test strip isn't ideal. These are ones you need to wear on skin and get a real feel for because they're you know, a deeper, richer fragrance. And the last one from this collection is Alexandria II the second, with notes of apple, cinnamon, rosewood and lavender, cedarwood, lily, rose, amber, sandalwood, musk, vanilla and oud steam. Oud steam is uh, interesting. <laughs> So this one is quite evenly blended, it's, it's well blended, you don't get, nothing jumps out too much. I get a very subtle cinnamon, but it's not overly strong. Tiny little bits of lavender, slightly woody. The oud doesn't jump out. I would say it's a slightly woody, spicy amber, but the cinnamon is slightly sweet. It's subtle though, it's not, it's not a, a punch fragrance, it's, it's mellow. It's nice, I like that one. Um, it is slightly sweet. I think the, the Oud ones are my favourite actually, from the Atar. This one is, is quite nice, the Black Sukkah. It's, it's quite sweet. And also, I think this King Maserat is, is very nice, the Oud is lovely. Now it's been on the skin a little longer, it's got a little bit of a, maybe a barnyard slight touch, it's a little bit funky, but not too strong, it's still mellow, it's nice, it's a nice Oud. It's warm, if you're an Oud lover I would check that one out, I'm not sure the price of it though, I'll have to ask. <laughs> presentation is lovely. I like the boxes. The artwork on the boxes is very nice. Yes. Good presentation. Yeah. Also for the essential. Yeah, no, they're very nice. Nice quality. Yeah. Cool. Thank you very much. Welcome. I appreciate Welcome. your time. Thank you. Ice skating rink in the middle of the shopping centre. Oh, you, just before I turned the camera on, the kid in the red top just fell on his ass. It was hilarious. <laughs> it was a dramatic fall. Oh! Another epic fall. Roger Boutique as a Suspiro. Um, I think I saw Oz. The new Francis Kirkshawn Boutiques just opened here, I think. Uh, Bon the Manai and there's all sorts of Bottega Veneta. It's a bit weird having that next to all these fancy niche parfums. De Mali as well. Alexander McQueen. to give it to Parfums de Mal, that's a nice presentation. I'm not so much a fan of the fragrances, but beautiful presentation. There's the Roger, there's nobody here, why is there no one here? <laughs> bling, bling, bling. These are the city exclusives. The new Elysium, two more city exclusives. Should we smell a couple of Roja? I think we should. Test strips. There's literally Hi. nobody here. Hi. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm just gonna smell a few if that's okay. Yeah, which one? Um, uh, I'm gonna try the sweet ones. These sweet Oud. 
Yeah. yeah. Sweetie wood, uh, it's oriental style. It has uh, uh, macaron sweet. Oh, yeah. It has labdanum, it yeah. has cardamom, it has wheat. And the deep is. It's very candy sweet. But something really different yeah, yeah. from the other. Mm. You know, Roja, all the time he's, uh, he's created something really different, yeah. like other brands. Can I try the candy Aoud as well? Yes. Let's sure. see what all the difference is. Fruity Aoud. It has banana. Banana? banana. It has apple. Okay. Yeah. Oat. Definitely fruity. I'll try the fruity Aoud. Yeah, sure. This one, it has a strawberry. Strawberry? Yes. Can smell the strawberry. Wow. Okay. Yeah. They're quite subtle. I was expecting them to be strong, but they're a bit uh, mellow. Not too much uh, concentrate. The wood yeah, inside yeah. this one. Yeah. Collection. More mellow. Not like uh, this collection. I mean, amber wood, wood, musk wood. Not same. This collection. This. One Can I try a wood? Is this one more? Yeah. More around more the wood. So. I've tried that collection. I've tried amber and muscoot before. This one, it's uh, uh, wood with the floral. Okay, you, you get a lot of florals. What are the florals in here? Do you know? Or there is jasmine. There is um, a rose. It has rose and the jasmine. It's very thick. It's a dark flower. Yeah. You know, Roja all the time he's using the best raw material in in his fragrance. That's why after a few minutes it will be more nice. Mm. Not uh, in the same time you can't judge about this perfume. I was expecting more of a heavy oud, but it's more sweet floral. This you know? one, this one like a oil, absolute. It's oh, okay. more concentrated from this. Yeah, yeah. This one it's coming only one size, 30 ml. And then you have the crystal version, the clear mm -hmm. version, so it doesn't stain your shirt. <laughs> cool. Can I try the city exclusives? These four? Yes, the golf, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. I will start with the UAE. UAE, yeah. You see the Khalifa Tower mm. on the bottom. Okay, cool. Yeah. It's the leather in this. It smells leathery to me. Yeah. And it has, you know, a, a, a ta'if rose. You know the a ta'if rose mm -hmm. from Saudi Arabia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Expensive yeah. rose. Yes, yeah. exactly. Kuwait. 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 Yeah. Do you know the notes for that one? No. Because it's stumping me. It has, uh, it has, uh, you know, it has, of course, it has wood because all this all collection, it, yeah, it yeah. has wood, it has, it has uh, vanilla, it has uh, patchouli. Which one was this one? Oman. Oman. It has this one. It's very clear. The labdanum. Mm. It's kind of sweet as well. Mm -hmm. It's hard to smell individual notes. They're more like a, a solid accord. And the, you, and you, the, you mean in the base? Yeah, nothing, it's not like you can say it has uh, a certain particular note. It smells very whole, mm -hmm. you know? Hmm. Um, That's Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Yeah. This one's a little bit lighter. Yeah, from the other, yes. Mm. And it has a fruit, you know? Yeah. Fruit with the wood. A little bit sweet. Britannia, I've not smelled that one. Can we Britannia, smell this? It's yeah. Uh, oriental style also. But there is no wood. No wood. No wood. It has uh, vanilla, it has patchouli, oris. I definitely get the oris. Yeah. It's like the powdery. It's powdery, yeah. Mm. Rich and soft also. It's quite nice, I actually like that. It's nice, huh? Mm. It's one from my favorite. Do you think it's more feminine or 
It's Uni unisex. Six. Unisex. There's a slight sweetness though behind it, the, yeah. the powdery iris. Do you have a signature one that has the yes. gold leaf inside? Yes. Oh, this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, we get a lot of iris. It's Tyrex, it, it has Tyrex, it has um, uh, uh, Benzwin. Benzwin, yeah. yeah. Resonance. It's amazing that there's no one around in these places. I think I've smelled everything. From MFK now. My favourite is still Satin Moot, to be honest. Uh, they've got the extract, the parfum. Let's smell that again. I smelled it in Vegas already. It's so similar. I don't. I don't honestly don't see the point in buying the extract version. I mean, the original is nuclear. The smell is very, very close to me. Baccarat Rouge 540. My mother actually really likes that one. This is the X straight version. A lot of ethyl maltol, which is a candy floss note. Gives it that sugary sweetness. I can't say I'm a huge fan of the MFK line. There's not many that really strike me. Satin Mood is beautiful, though. I'd recommend it to more more of a woman's fragrance. I own it, and yeah, it's unisex, but it's not the most masculine fragrance in the world. It is better suited to women. A la Rose. I've not smelled this one before. No one watching me, there's literally nobody here. It's crazy. There's no I don't even see any cameras. <laughs> Definitely more feminine than you'd expect by the, the pink colour. It's a soft rose, it's not a heavy rose at all, it's very light. Mm -mm. It doesn't strike me as being wow, it's, it doesn't blow my socks off. But if a woman walked past me wearing that, I would think she smells pretty. It's definitely a pretty rose. Um, it's weird that it doesn't have a sales associate here. But okay. Nobody here. This is strange. By Killian Boutique. Is everyone on a holiday or what? What the hell is it? <laughs> There's nobody here. I'm not the biggest fan of By Killian in general. Um, although I own Sacred Wood. It's more of a, it, well it is a synthetic sandalwood. If you like real sandalwood it's, it could be a disappointment. I still like it, um, even though it smells not real. Um, it's, it's still a nice fragrance. They have Clive Christian as well here. Fancy chairs, and there's nobody here. That's definitely a diamond. Diamond on the colour there. That's pretty posh. There's two bottles in here, and they're both empty. Two bottles and they're empty, and there's nothing else in here. Man, if I was Clive Christian, I, what are you paying for here? They pay a lot of money to be in here, and the shelves are empty, there's no salespeople, nothing. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Just close it down and give me the money. <laughs> What's the point? I do like the old girl and bottles, they're very pretty, very well designed.
I'm not wowed by the Venice Hotel. Build your friends. I have kind of too much already. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I've got one there, one there, one okay. here, one there. It's testing too many today. Yeah. Perfect, thank you very much. Cool. Thank you. See you later. It's not one that I would buy or rave about or particularly um, be that excited about. Not one I would be bothered about reviewing that one, to be honest. The memo counter here is beautiful. Check this out. The leather cases are cool. I never smelled this one, so I'm gonna try this one. Hi, sir. Is this brand new? I've never yeah. seen this one. This is the new one. Okay. Which is Which is of jasmine, pineapple, with vanilla. I get more of the jasmine. The yeah. pineapple isn't too strong to me. Yeah. It's okay. I get the jasmine. Hmm. It's lighter. Yeah, it was absolute, jasmine absolute. Yeah. Spray new skin. I have too much already. Uh, I've been spraying like yeah. crazy. We are famous with this one. Brian Irish leather. Really? Yes. My favorite is African leather. African leather. Yeah. One. Yeah, I like this one. It's we nice. have the new one, African rolls. Oh, can I try this one? Cardamom, geranium, leather, and rose. I can smell the geranium and there's a yeah. floral I don't they like. Broke, they broke the strong with rose also. Yeah. The geranium makes it kind of citrusy and fresh with the floral. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. I smell my taste that one though personally. The artwork is cool though. The Irish oud is a lot like Irish leather. You get a black kind of leather but it just makes oud and kind yeah. of juniper berry. Body lotion, uh, body wash, shower gel, and uh, soft hand bleaching. This is cool. This one, the smaller size. Fancy. So this one hundred and twenty. So yeah. It's a yeah. Wow, it's nice. Okay, travel, travel spray. Yeah. This is the limited edition, one piece in all the world, of Mimo. Really? Only here, yes. Wow. Every place have a different. Oh, okay. So this is only one just for here? Yeah, for here all, all. Wow. Yes. That's very cool. Also the price, it's uh, 7,960. Do you know what that is in US dollar? Roughly? Be, exactly. I'm not sure. What's the most bestseller in this market? $2,157. Wow, you could buy a car. That's amazing though. Yeah, it's all handmade. Cool. Very nice. Also we have before uh, a seat which is kind of all like this one. Okay. And a seat around 4,159. Now we have like this. So you can use the cup, the decap later when you finish from the canvas. Ah, yes. clever idea. Interesting, they went with singular notes rather than. Exactly, there is a note from, from this one instance from La Libella. Ah, La Parfum, okay, like. so they take a note yeah. from the specific. To be rose from Marfa. Okay. This one from Russian Russia leather. leather. Okay. Calendar. Also, it, we are selling like two pieces uh, medium or four pieces smaller. Like this. Like this. Four pieces small or two pieces. Cool. Room diffusers, candles, shower gels, everything at Memo. It's cool. Thank you very much for your time. Most welcome. You are welcome. Come and visit. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you.
one umbrella for two, 50 ml, eau de parfum, plus 10 ml, plus the trap. So you get it as a set? Yes, it's like set. Okay. And the all refillable, we have also a box. Oh, refillable? Ah, that's a nice idea. The box is 1,334. Okay. And the refill is 790. Yeah. It's 60 ml for refill the two. Cool. This is for three collections of the brand. Very cool. Hot. Hot. <laughs> Hot, yeah. You know, the means uh, floor, floor, and alcohol it's a uh, poem. Poem? Yeah, like, like floor or poem. Point to floor. Nice. <laughs> we have three ceremonies. This is the ceremony of the tea, collection of the tea, okay. collection of flowers, and essence collection. Three different collections. Yeah. And two shadows. This is for traveling actually. Yeah, it's nice. One umbrella for two. This is lovely, like a gourmand sweet. Yeah, it's yummy. Black currant, red tea and cedar are it. This is the ingredient that I have. I like that one. It's yummy for sure. One of the best seller in the collection of the tea. Mm. That was tasty. Tasty. Yeah, you want <laughs> to eat yeah. it. <laughs> like cheesecake. Ginger oil, white tea, and cardamom. This is the second one. I'm coming home. It's very light for a while tonight. I'm coming home. It's fresh. It's more fresh. Love the ginger with the white tea. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Mm -hmm. I like that one as well. Yeah, very nice. The presentation is beautiful yeah you know the name uh, the decoration of this one it's um, a relation with the name of the perfume okay you know i'm coming home and this style of uh, it's flying really like home going to home you see that in japan yeah why not just Mate. the moon and the eye in this world of dreams the moon and the eye fountain planet night flower this is poem the icon of the all of the parking have items. Okay. This is green tea, matcha tea. You definitely get the tea. Yeah, you can smell tea, matcha, absolute cedar oil. It's like good tea. These are all very good. I like that one as well. This one, it's uh, for men, better for men. It's like a milky tea. Yes. Yeah, now we will go to the second collection. Already I show you I see clouds go by. It's white musk, cherry blossom and cassie absolute. Yeah. You definitely get the, the black currant cassis. Yeah. yeah. The milky wire bar. Grapefruit, orange absolute and Irish. It's nice. I get a lot of the orange blossom actually. More uh, yeah and also a little powdering. Yeah. Can From the iris. The powdery with iris. Yeah. More feminine, but it's nice. It's pretty. Feminine, yeah. yeah. I like this perfume. It's fresh, magnolia, veggie bear, bergamot. You know the mix. You think it's like jasmine, but it's not jasmine. Yeah. No, I I know what you mean. Yeah, the jasmine kind of <laughs> white floral smell. Yeah, floral yeah. smell. That's funny. Maybe there is jasmine in there. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe nice. in the nuts, the top nuts. Very pretty. Cool. And now we will go to the strong perfumes. Uh, woody. I like wood. Sun. You like wood? Yeah, yeah. Uh, good. <laughs> summer moon. All silence. My shadow in the west. It's on the wood. Mimosa, absolutely. Okay. And violet, absolutely. Mix a flower with the wood. It's different. Definitely get the violets. Yeah. It's yeah. More feminine, but it's pretty. I think. It's Do you think a man could wear that? For me, I think it's uh, for men. Better for men. You think? Yeah. I can see a woman wearing this as well, though. Do you know, nice. I know some uh, women like the men's bag and Yeah, yeah. Strong uh, mm. perfume. Cool. 
second one it's classic vanilla chonka bean with sandalwood it's more arabic it's near uh, you know the, this mix arabic like it very much yeah, but darker, richer. Yes. Yeah. I actually like all of them. <laughs> it's rare for me. And the last one is my love has a color of the night. Which is the Gayak. Gayak okay. oil, patchouli and veggie there. Gayak is quite a smoky wood. It's smoky wood, yes. This perfume, it's very strong, very smoky. I like that as well. This one is amazing perfume. Spicy. I like Gayak wood. Yeah, it's, oh it's a yeah. nice wood. Yeah. And now we will go to the two uh, special perfume in the uh, in the, this brand. You know, in Japan, it's like the one. It's not only um, it's in, in the, this shadow. You know, in, for this. this Sorry. For the, this two perfume, you can put your best perfume or one of the perfume with one of this side by side, not mixing. Okay. Okay. Sure. And you can use it alone, but it's special for uh, this uh, sleeping wonder roof. It's light shadow. You definitely get this lily kind of yeah, soft it's floral. More soft, calm, romantic. More feminine. More feminine. This yes. is nice. Very yeah, I think if a woman likes soft florals and lilies, yeah. she would like that. Like Sleeping on the roof is a nice thing as well. <laughs> In the dark shadow, it's between two trees. Grapefruit, mate, and veggie bear. You can touch up the It's nice. Which one is that called? Between two trees, grapefruit, mate, between and two trees. Bear. Okay, cool. I'm impressed. They're all, they're all good. I'm gonna smell them again. I like that one. One nice. umbrella for two. Yeah. If you want ice cream in your skin, I have so much on already. Um, I don't know if I can. Mm -hmm. Maybe, can we go here? Yeah. I have so much on already. The opening on that is really tasty. Yeah, yeah. very tasty. I like that one a lot. So if you're ever in Dubai Mall, um, the lady that I just spoke to there and the memo counter is in Bloomingdale's. So you can go to the little counters here and just type things in and see so if you type Bloomingdale's it'll tell you where to walk to get there which is handy because this place is ridiculously huge. So she was lovely. That was a really nice line. I was, I was quite impressed that there actually wasn't a single one in that line that I disliked. I thought they were all quite pleasant, quite nice. That sweet one is lovely. It's um, really tasty. I liked it. The tea one was nice as well. All of them were pretty good. The presentation was lovely. Prices are quite high though, but it comes as the presentation pack, so you, you're kind of paying for the presentation as well. So Dior have a new private collection for their perfumes, but they don't have it in that boutique. And I went in Sephora, it's packed loads of people, but they don't have any of the new designer fragrances in there. So this is what happened when Aventus for Her came out. It took months and months for them to have it in Dubai. So it's very slow, even though I think Dubai is a quite a big market for perfume, it seems to be quite slow for them to actually get new releases here. Uh, that's it, I'll see you in the next video, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, take care, see you next time, bye.